Today marks the sixth month milestone of Russia, or President Putin, my you, invading Ukraine with his mighty army. And a mighty army will contain almost 200,000 men. He invaded Ukraine on many fronts. And the Ukrainians fought back. Wow. They fought back to what their um, weapons could have. Not many of them. Actually, most of them were obsolete. Considering our standards right now, they were obsolete. They fought back. One of the things the Ukrainians had working for them is the weather. The Russians on these long roads, the Ukrainians destroyed the first tank, the second tank, and the third tank. Suicide bombers, you might say. And they just attacked the last uh, three vehicles, which basically tied up a few miles of Russian hardware on a road. Of course, the Russians needed to get off, and as soon as they did, uh, it seemed that Mother Nature didn't go along with them and warmed up the, the grounds a little bit. And the first tank that went off went down to its axles. The second tank that went off went down its axle. The first truck to go off, it went down an axle in mud. Well, yeah, it said, well, the grounds are frozen. Yes, they are, aren't they? And the column was sitting there, became a, a target. And people, some uh, people had uh, drone hel uh, co copters, you know, and dropped a few bombs on them. And a few of them got other weapons. And in six months, they basically made a mess of the Russian army who could not concentrate your troops in Ukraine. So, what did the Russians do? They fired upon the cities. And they turned many cities into rubble. Most of the buildings would, at least every building was hit with a rocket. That means it became unsuitable. And some of the and the people would do is they would run into the basement and again the second rocket would bring all the rubble or the whole building down on the people in the basement and smother them. Yes, President Putin. And President Putin basically had targeted each building and facilities and anything he said, why that's all military! There's no military people in, in the, in the uh, building. Well, I hear they were storing tanks in it and military equipment. No, they weren't. He just simply slaughtered thousands of people, destroyed cities, destroyed buildings. But what happens if he conquers that thing? Well, he, basically his job is any, any city he conquered, you might say, got into, they killed the civilians. Now what they do is instead of burying them in the thing, they do, they re, they transport the dead bodies back to um, Russia where they incinerate them, cremate them. Okay, mm -hmm. and the living people they deport to Siberia. Thank you, President Putin. Yes, yeah, so just another Stalin, murderous Stalin. President Putin still believes he can destroy as much as he can. And it really doesn't make any difference if his ships are sunk, his tank crews are killed. He has millions of people he can put into the front lines as long as he wins. As long as he can take over Ukraine's wheat fields, gas and oil fields. He takes over that and Europe will be at his mercy. Hmm. Heating gas, yeah. oil for his, oil for his automobiles. Well, I guess that's his goal. But in the last six months, he has 
It was shown to him that his most mightiest army in Europe was driven to a standstill.